Hi and welcome in this video and thanks a lot for 100,000 subscribers on this English YouTube channel. That really means a lot to me and I have two 100,000 subscriber specials for you. One small, it's this video, and one big, I will announce in the end of this video, so stay tuned. My name is Benjamin Jaworski, photographer and adventurer. Ten years ago, I started to teach myself photography. Today, I travel the world as a professional photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, mistakes and tips and join me on my photography adventures. Yeah, the smaller special is um, more of a get to know more about me video because on my German YouTube channel, maybe you don't know even that I have a German YouTube channel, I have actually the biggest photography uh, YouTube channel in Germany or German speaking channel with over 260,000 uh, subscribers from Germany, Austria and Switzerland and that YouTube channel I actually run for now almost six years so the people quite know a lot about me and I did a lot of question and answer videos and I do a lot of um, speaking gigs and stuff so the German people know quite a lot about me but the English people actually I think don't know much about me yet so I decided that people can ask me some questions and five of the questions I have now in this video and I will talk about now. The first question is by Jamie and she asked or he asked I don't actually know what did you do before photography and that's quite a good question and I did actually do a lot of things before I went fully into photography and about the whole stuff that I'm doing, which is not only photography, there's a lot of more things I'm doing. Maybe I, I do a different video about that in the future. But I was actually going to school. Um, I did the highest graduate that you can do in Germany. I don't know what it's similar in other countries, but you have to do this to go studying on a university. And I was on that point, maybe I was 20 years old then, and I was thinking about, okay, do I study? Do I go to the police? Do I do something else? I had actually no idea. And then I did just several jobs. I worked as an animator, I think it's called not doing animation like Pixar or something, more like going in a hotel and say Sha -la 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 -la. <laughs> That's what I was doing uh, for two years, uh, not the whole year, but uh, season, seasonally. And then I did a lot of other things for agencies and stuff and photography, but more as a hobby. And um, then I actually went over my hobby photography to a radio station because I was filming a Ratman interview and that was maybe now seven years or eight years from now and uh, yeah I was filming this and over this interview I went into the radio station I did an internship six months unpaid then I get my own radio show then I worked at the radio station for uh, three and a half years and then I decided to quit and do all the stuff that I do right now full-time and that was four and a half years I think from now. You must ask, how did you get to photography? And that's kind of a, yeah, just it was there one day to the other actually. I had a very small camera, a Casio Exilium camera, and that was over 10 years ago. Um, it was a small pocket camera. The cell phones could not photograph very well during that time, so you had to buy those small cameras that you just can take pictures. And I was on a tour um, with my class. It was the last school year um, before we go to university and stuff and there we, you do in Germany like a last trip together with the whole class. And there we were drinking a lot, we were partying and eating and stuff and <laughs> then actually I decided let's take some nice photos there just with my small camera and then I said to my friends let's go to the beach, let's take some nice photos and then we took some nice photos and I said to my to my, uh, to my buddy okay let's take because we were pumping and uh, waiting lifts and stuff during that time a lot and it was more of a fitness trend uh, in that time and so we had nice shaped bodies uh, me and my friends so you said okay let's take the shirts off and do some nice shots for the ladies and stuff and then I turned the camera in black and white and yeah I actually photographed and thinking about what I photograph and that was the first time that I thought about photograph think things or people is actually a good thing and that's what I started with I started photographing people at first and um, landscapes were always somehow involved but mainly it were people um, in the beginning and filming as well I, I did filming all the time but not professionally just for fun like holidays and stuff and yeah then 
somehow it became more and more and more and more and more interesting for me. Rick asks, where are you actually from? That's a funny question and a lot of people think I'm from Austria and some people in the comments write, I look like Adam Sandler. Actually, they write, I look like a mix or I sound like a mix between Adam Sandler, Borat <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yeah, okay, I can live with that. I'm Borat, I'm Arnie, I'm a big Schwarzenegger. And uh, yeah, Adam Sandler is funny as well, so I can totally live with that. But uh, I'm actually from Germany. I was born in the south of Germany, then I lived there for 15 years, then uh, my parents divorced and then I moved with my mother and my sister to Berlin with 15 years and uh, then for 15 years I lived in Berlin and now I'm 30, actually 31 and now I live all over the world since the last three years. Uh, my base was in Berlin but now we're thinking about moving somewhere else and uh, right now we are in Spain but let's see where the future goes. But actually I'm from Germany. Celine from France I think uh, asks how did you learn the photog phot <coughs> photography and uh, photography that's funny because I learned photography the way that most of the people had to learn it. Practicing on the one hand and going to a library, rent books about photography, read those and study those books and then practice again. Just for the purpose of photography, I get myself that library uh, pass card thing there. And uh, then I went in Berlin to the library and get the books, get the books, get the books, read all the books and then I just tried it out because 10 years ago there was no real YouTube channels about photography and all that stuff and that's when I actually decided I want to do that stuff that other people can learn photography as well. And because I learn photography myself, I know how it is to be a beginner, I know how it is to be a hobby photographer and to get more, to be more interested in stuff and yeah, that's why I actually think it's quite cool to have that many options now with the internet, with YouTube and all the stuff that you have today. Um, let me tell this, you as an old person now, <laughs> how it was, I know how it was before without internet and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a great thing that you can just watch YouTube channels like this channel or like other channels and just, yeah, get knowledge everywhere. And I love knowledge. I love to learn, love to improve. And the last question is by Sven. He asked, what do you like most about photography? Photography is different. Photography is not only one thing and about landscape photography, for example, I like most that you are actually out in nature. I hate to sit inside on a computer. Sometimes I like it to watch videos and just hang around, but uh, I like it more to be outside and to be in nature and to see all the different yeah, things about nature, like the power of nature, like wind and waves and all the stuff, how different it can look and how sometimes dangerous it can be, how beautiful it can be, how different it can just be. And that's what I like about landscape photography. Then the silence, then no people around you, nobody actually talking, except when I do a workshop, then I do a lot of talking. Um, but then again, just sit there and just watch and just enjoy the moment. That's what I like about landscape photography. And about photography in general, I like that you can just Capture a moment and then look at the image and remember that one moment. So it's not just a moment in your head, it's actually a moment that is captured on a photograph and what I do as well in a, in a movie because there you not only have one image, you have like 25, 50, 100 images in a second. And then you can enjoy it with sound and all the stuff. And that's what I like about photography and about filmmaking as well. And I hope that you liked this video, this small 100,000 subscriber um, special video. If you have more questions that I should answer in another video, then just write it in the comments below. And now I can announce the big 100,000 subscriber special. Maybe you have already seen the Australian episode here on this YouTube channel. It's called Jaworski Around the World. And it's actually a series that I did I think three and a half years ago um, because I just wanted to have a nice photography series out um, in the world actually, in the German world only because it was filmed in German. Um, something like a mix between Bear Grylls, River Monsters and series I just like but with 
photography. So educational, but um, entertaining as well. Um, with me just traveling around, photographing and telling people how beautiful the world actually is and showing it as well and um, talk about photography and about the beauty of nature and all the stuff. And we did actually four episodes. We did one in Australia, one in Norway, one in South Africa and one in Scotland. And those were all episodes we filmed in German only. And I translated the Australian version you can find here on this channel and dubbed everything. But that was a lot of work and it's not that cool like speaking it just in person. So I decided when I do another episode, and that's what I decided one and a half year ago, when I do another episode, I will do it in English and in German. In the future I will do them only in English. So this is the first and the last in German, but the first in English episode of Jaworski Around the World. Um, it's a 50 minutes documentary, very epic because I take care about music a lot, very scenery because We photographed the most beautiful landscapes in Germany and a lot of photography tips as well and a lot of um, things about Germany, uh, educational things as well in the video. Kind of a mix um, between a lot of different things and I hope really that you enjoy this episode. Um, it will come out next or in two weeks. Um, we are cutting right now and we have to figure out that everything is great and everything is nice. And then, yeah, we just drop it out and you get it for free. It's a 50 minutes great documentary episode and I hope you really like it. And it's kind of a 100,000 subscriber special. Let's look forward to the future. My goal is to bring that thing Of course on YouTube, but as well maybe on different other things. Um, English is a world language and that's why I decided to do this whole stuff in English as well and the whole channel here in English as well, because I can reach people all over the world and it's so great to get comments from people from France, from Italy, from Spain, from Portugal, from Germany, from Switzerland, from Austria, from Sweden, from Norway, from the US, from the UK, from Russia, from China, from wherever in the world, India, a lot of people, Indonesia, so we're all over the world. That's just amazing. And my goal for the next years is to do, actually meet those people as well and um, see where they live, what it's beautiful around there, just yeah, travel the world and um, roam the world and explore and maybe put that in more episodes um, with Javorski around the world. And maybe then as well on Netflix, or on Amazon or wherever it might be, National Geographic. I don't know. But we will see. And you can really look forward for this great Jaworski Around the World episode in English, the first filmed in English as well, and about my home country, Germany. So look forward for the next two weeks. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let's go to the 200,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.